always see celebrity when they were young pictures, and now you can take a look back at the websites during their humble beginnings. KXLY 4's Colleen O'Brien is here now to show us this fun, cool click. Yeah, it's very fun Friday cool click, at least for us web junkies. It's, it's very interesting to look back at websites when they were born, especially in today's times where graphics, they're looking more and more real life on the computer. So we're going to take a look back at the Wayback Machine. It's from archive.org, and basically you can type in any website, and it has an archive of when that website was born and then how it was updated every month since its beginning. So we're going to start with, uh, we're going to do four popular websites. The first one is eBay. So take a look at eBay when uh, it was born. You can see not too many graphics, very simplistic. And then eBay today, a little bit of an update, a little more content on there. They've really expanded their brand. Okay, the next one is MSN. This is a popular website, often people's homepage. Do you even recognize that, especially when you compare it to today's MSN.com? Whoa, complete transformation. Okay, the next one, admit it, you visit PerezHilton.com, you wouldn't even recognize this site today. This is PerezHilton.com before he put his branding and his face all over his website, because if you look at today's, you can see his face, his name, his image, and the pink color, that is iconic of PerezHilton.com. But that one was from 2005, when uh, around the time he began. Now the next one, this is Yahoo.com, this is probably one of the most popular home pages. Yahoo here, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but the Yahoo up at the top is very pixelated. The graphics aren't great. And then today's Yahoo is a lot better, a lot more graphic, a lot more pretty, if you will. So it's archive.org, and it's their way back machine. You can type in any website and look at it when it was young. Goodbye. I like it. Thanks, Colleen. Yep.